This video will take you through setting up the Audio-Technica 2020 USB mic on Windows 10 using ASIO for all. So if you go to the iLearn site, you can refer to the setup PDF that's there. And then the first thing you'll do is you'll click on the link to the ASIO for all website. Please scroll down when you get to this website, there's embedded advertising in here, which is quite unhelpful. You want to find the version 2.14 English to download, let it download and then open the file and run the installer. And then when you get to the choose components page, choose offline settings, make sure that's ticked and then hit install. And then once you've done that, you can go to the start menu, the windows menu, you then want to open ASIO for all V2 settings and it opens a control panel. You want to deselect any other audio hardware that appears in this control panel and only select the AT2020 and make sure that that's ticked. And then you also want to check the box that goes always resample 44.1K to 48K so you don't have any sample rate problems. And then leave the ASIO buffer size set to 512 samples because we're going to look at direct monitoring with the mic itself. So after that you can launch Pro Tools. After Pro Tools launches then you want to create a new session. I'm just going to call it Testing ASIO Setup AT2020 and it's going to be 48K 24-bit interleaved which is our standard resolution. So that will open a blank session and before we do anything we want to go and set the playback engine. So we want to set it to ASIO for all version 2. If it was on anything else, you need to click OK and it will relaunch Pro Tools with the new playback engine. So we're just going to create a audio track, a mono audio track, and then call that AT2020 test. We are going to make sure that we are seeing the I.O. in the edit window. So edit window views, I.O., make sure that's ticked on. And then we can go to the input and choose AT2020 and then the output, and you can choose playback one and two. After that, you will record and enable the track, and you should be seeing audio. Only you'll probably find that the levels are a bit too low until you actually go in and change the recording levels. Firstly, set the metering to Pro Tools Classic by right-clicking on the meter. Then you want to go down and choose System Settings. And once you've chosen system settings, you then want to choose the sound control panel. And then you want to scroll down to input, which should say microphone AT2020, input device properties, and then that will open a fader for volume. And it's there that you can set the recording levels in Pro Tools. So you can turn the mic up or down from that control panel. Just minimize it so that you can maximize it and get to it easily. Don't close it down completely. So make sure that you turn on low latency monitoring so that you can monitor directly from the AT2020 mic monitor control on the front of the mic. Take a look at the dedicated video on this topic. So do a test recording and you want to aim for highest peaks between 0 and minus 6 dB and you want to avoid red clip lights. Any red clip lights you want to stop recording and fix up your mic level so that you don't clip when you're recording because that will cause distortion. When you're finished, you can hit stop, return to zero and play back the recording to check how it sounds through your headphones or through your loudspeakers. If everything sounds good, then you've set up this microphone correctly to work with Pro Tools.